Mount Uluwan, Papua New Guinea's tallest volcano, erupted on Monday, sending ash up to 15 kilometres high. Although the initial tsunami alert has been reduced, the eruption continues with a significant ash cloud impacting the area. The volcano, one of the most active in the South Pacific nation, is located on the northeastern island of New Britain. Despite early concerns, experts including Brad Scott from New Zealand's GNS Science assessed the tsunami threat as minimal due to the volcano's distance from the ocean. The ash plume, observed to rise at least 15,000 metres on Tuesday, poses risks to aviation, extending several kilometres northwest of the volcano. The Volcanic Ash Advisory Centre in Darwin, Australia was one of the first to detect the eruption through satellites. This centre is part of a global network, advising the aviation industry on volcanic ash. Biala, the nearest large town, located 47 kilometres southwest of Uluwan, is experiencing heavy ashfall, affecting local palm oil plantations and buildings. The town with over 13,000 residents is yet to report any major issues related to the eruption. Papua New Guinea, part of the seismically active Ring of Fire, has witnessed numerous eruptions from Uluwan since the 1700s. The last significant eruption in 2019 resulted in the evacuation of over 5,000 people, though no casualties have been reported from the volcano's history. However, eruptions often lead to displacement, infrastructure damage, and service disruptions. We'll continue to keep a close eye on this and we'll be sure to update you of any changes. Thanks for watching. In a recent development, Icelandic authorities have indicated a decrease in the likelihood of a volcanic eruption on the Rake James Peninsula, located in the southwest part of the country. This update comes after a notable drop in seismic activities in the area. Despite this decline, the region, particularly near the nation's capital, Reykjavik, has been under a heightened state of alert since late October. This increased vigilance is due to a significant rise in seismic events and the detection of underground lava flows, sparking concerns about potential volcanic activity. The Icelandic Meteorological Office, in a detailed statement, emphasised that the chance of an eruption occurring in or around the previously evacuated town of Grindavik has lessened. They pointed out that if an eruption were to happen, it is now more likely to take place in an area stretching between the Hagafell and Sealingafell mountains. The statement highlighted a continuous decrease in seismic activity, leading to a corresponding reduction in the eruption likelihood as time progresses. Further underlining the situation's severity, on Friday, five ministers from the Icelandic parliament made a visit to Grindavik. This visit was significant as it came at a time when evacuated residents were being permitted, since Thursday, to return temporarily to collect more of their personal belongings. The visit by the parliament members underscores the government's commitment to addressing the situation and supporting the affected community. However, the path to normalcy for the residents of Grindavik appears to be a long one. It may take several months before all residents can move back permanently. The delay is primarily due to extensive infrastructure damage caused by the ongoing seismic activities and the threat of an eruption. In a related development, reflecting the reduced seismic activity since the beginning of the week, Iceland's Civil Defence Authority announced a downgrade in the earthquake risk level in Grindavik. The risk level was lowered from emergency to danger level on Thursday. This downgrade is a positive sign, indicating a gradual return to stability, yet it also serves as a reminder of the need for continued vigilance in the face of natural hazards in the region. That's today's news, we'll keep watching this situation closely and we will ensure to update you of any further developments. Be sure to click that like button and the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to be notified of every time we release. And thanks for watching.